But D'Angelo says, let's go Falcons. Is it too much to ask? I say Ritter should throw for 3,500 yards and 20 touchdowns. And that Falcons first round draft pick should have more yards than Algier. I don't think that's too much to ask at all, D'Angelo. I agree with you 100%. Um, 3,500 yards and 20 touchdowns. That's just a shade over 200 yards per game. 205, maybe 17 times five is 85. So 207, call it. 207 yards per game. That's not that's not too much to ask. I don't believe that at all. Uh, 20 touchdowns in 17 games is just a shade over one touchdown per game. No, that's not too much to ask from your starting quarterback either. Um, now, if the they're running the ball at will and they run for you know all these yards, and of, of course the, the caveat here obviously is always the same. If you stay healthy, I I, I always want to say that. I never want to say that because it should be understood, but yes, you got to play all these games for that to happen. You got to stay healthy, which isn't a given. Um, but no, 200 yards per game and a little over a touchdown per game is not too much to ask from Desmond Ritter in this quarterback. I think we should expect that from Desmond Ritter. Uh, Falcons first round draft pick, Bijan Robinson should have more yards than Algier. I agree with that too. If you don't, why did you take him with the number eight pick? Um, we've talked about this a lot and the cost benefit of a first round draft pick kind of goes out the window. If you take a running back in the first round, the long term, the longevity of having a first round draft pick for 10, 12 years, the possibility of doing that and having a Jake Matthews, a Matt Ryan, uh, a Chris Lindstrom, what you're looking for when you sign AJ Terrell to his next contract to Julio Jones, that kind of goes out the window too, with a running back. Um, I looked it up yesterday and there were two running backs in the top 25 that were 28 years old. It was Derrick Henry and Aaron Jones from the Packers. Every single other running back in the NFL in the top 25 was 27 or younger. So you lose that longevity of, I can get a franchise type player at this position. That said, so, so that the point, point on that, D'Angelo, is you, you need to get an early return from your from your running back you need to get an early return oh well, if you split carries you could probably carry out his 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 you know his career longer yeah maybe but when you take they they called Kyle Pitts a win now draft pick which just drove me nuts because if the Falcons were so far away from winning now it was ridiculous Bijan Robinson is a win now draft pick that's a guy that we say we want to go from seven wins and we see ourselves as playoff contenders this year uh, and he's going to help us get there. I, I agree with that. I think the Falcons are a playoff contender this year, and I think Bijan Robinson should be the leading yards from scrimmage guy on this team. That doesn't mean Tyler Algier won't have a big role to play. I think Tyler Algier can still go over a thousand yards from scrimmage uh, and be a wonderful one-two punch. Punch with the Joker, the X Factor being Cordell Patterson, the Slash Man coming in getting five to six carries out of the backfield, getting five to six touches as a wide receiver, maybe a kick returner every now and then, and just getting him 10 to 12 touches per game as well. And you've got some serious weaponry out of the backfield. So I think that's a great comment, D'Angelo. I agree with you 100% on both of those points.